Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm gonna film my base makeup video. So, how to do this flawless dewy base. If you would like to see how I did it, just keep on watching. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, here's my Insta handle. And the eyes, I didn't film on this one. I filmed another video, palette bingo with the Stacy Marie video. So if you want to see that, I'm gonna link it up here if it's up already. If not, it's coming soon. So without any more me just blabbering on, let's get into the base video. Okay, so let's get into my base routine. Um, I did my brows already, so I did my soap brow technique and then I filled them in with my Maybelline brow pencil. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna firstly prime with the L um, putty primer. Get it on my face. Then I'm gonna rub it in like I like to use this on my T zone under my eyes and a little bit between my brows. But I don't use it like for the whole face. Okay, and when that's Put, I'm gonna use Primark primer water. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my face. Okay, so now that my face is primed, I'm gonna use my foundation. And this has been my favorite foundation, like for the last, would say, three months and this is the Revolution Pro full cover camouflage foundation this is I like the finish of this this is like a full coverage but it's not like matte and cakey I don't like matte foundations that much because I have a cat hair on my face because I have a dry skin like try to combination so this foundation really gives me the coverage but it won't like dry my face out and I'm using the color F1 okay so that's my foundation applied and as you can see it's full coverage but it's dewy like I have this sheen on my face still and for concealer I've been loving elf camo 16 hour concealer and I know that some people say that this is quite drying but on me it's I don't I don't know if it's because I have such a like dewy foundation underneath but these two as a combo is really nice and my under eyes look real smooth with smooth with um, this concealer I like to use sponge for my under eyes and I start to tap in this is really good color, like if I want bright under eyes. And I like to take my concealer, like in this part. It, it, I think it lift, lifts my face real nice. Blend it out, and that's really nice. I'm in the color Fair Rose. I think this is the lightest one they have on the camo. 
Okay, before I powder my face, I want to do a little bit of cream contouring slash bronzing. And I'm using Smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick. This is like, you can see really that I've been loving this because this is running out. And this is not like a that much of a contour. This is like between contour and bronzing for me. And I like to use it on my forehead, on my cheeks, under my lip and under here. Okay, for planting that contour, I'm gonna use Sigma Round Top Kapuki F82. This is a foundation brush, but I don't like to apply my um, foundation with a brush. It just don't work for my skin. But um, I like to just, like I like it for contouring because I can really like tap it in, like use this kind of a stippling motion and then a bit of blending. Just like tapping this in and for my hairline I like to pull it like in my hair. That's why I like like cream contouring because you can really get it like on your hairline so you don't get that white line and if you get like too low you can go in with your sponge and just like blend the edges that's what I like to do like tap the edges you should be fine then under my jaw I just blend it like a little bit to the sides and like under this double chin but I this I would like to blend like really in because it can look a bit fake if you don't a good base I'm gonna add some powder contour on top but that's the contour cream bronze slash contour done next I've been liking doing a cream blush I know I'm not like this is a new thing for me but I got as a present from my friend this MUA blushed liquid cream blush and this is in the shade tiger lily and i'm gonna take this in my hand you don't need much i'm taking like that amount and then i take this kind of lay like flat top brush that isn't um really dense and i'm firstly working this cream product on the brush and I have it on my brush now then I'm like going and adding the blush on my cheeks but I like it gives like a really nice base for I like to use glowy blushes so it gives me like really nice base for my glowy blush okay and next I'm gonna powder not my whole face but I do want like on this cheek area and my forehead when I'm gonna put some powder products on but I, I do want to like keep some of the glow on my face so I'm gonna use elf halo glow powder this is really nice um, I really think that I found the powder that works best for my skin looks like this it has a little tint but it's not like depositing that much of a color on your face still. So I'm gonna firstly powder my cheeks. This is a BH Cosmetics number no. two brush from a, this is from, um, I think, Rose Gold brushes. And I'm gonna take a bit of this. And I like to powder here. 
because I hate if my clothes get some foundation and stuff. And I put some lip balm on. And then I'm gonna powder my under eyes. And for that I want to use a more smaller brush. This is PH Cosmetics number no. 4 brush from the same rose gold brush and this um, elf concealer doesn't crease that much on my under eyes so that's really nice like usually every concealer like creases on me pretty bad but this one not so much it's just using for my under eye and and a bit on my like sides of my nose because there my foundation usually starts to move first okay I think we have enough powder like I do want to keep like this this center of my forehead dewy and still I have some luminosity on my skin and that's what I'm like going for I next I think I'm gonna do some contouring and I'm gonna use the Essence Contouring Duo. I have it on the shade Lighter Skin and I like to mix these colors together and start to intensify my face color. This has a really nice shade for my complexion, like, and I think this will go even if you're a little bit lighter or a little bit darker than me, because it has these two shades you can mix, so I like that. And I um, use these two colors mixed on my face, but on my nose I'm just gonna use the lighter shade. And I'm using a, this is a Real Techniques multitask cheek brush. I like, like this shape is really nice for, for contouring because you can be precise and you do your cheek contour, but then on your forehead you can use it as a, on its side and blend, blend your contour in. Usually I take a, my powder brush after I've done this and really just like focus on the blending. I'm gonna take a little bit more smaller brush. This is a, I think this is a Technique, just a eyeshadow brush, real cheap. And I'm gonna use under my lid. Little bit, and then I'm gonna just take the lighter one. I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contouring, just a touch up. Like, I like my nose, and I don't want to, like, I don't need this change the, um, the shape of my nose, but I do like to, like in enhance what I have maybe that's a good word for it and really like I'm not like the best with nose contour but I like to do it I think it just adds when I add my highlighter I think it looks really nice now it's time to bronze up my skin and I'm gonna use my favorite Summer of Love Triple Fake Bronzer from iHeart Revolution and I like this because this has a little bit of sheen in it and I'm using it with So Eco Blush Brush but I like to use this as my bronzer brush. I like to use a mix of like circular motions and stippling motions what I've 
we have like the contour bronzing and that stuff on I'm gonna use some glowy blush this is actually a highlighter this is from I Heart Revolution 2 and this is the Angel Heart triple baked highlighter but in this you have these two like blush colors I'm gonna focus my brush on those colors only and I'm gonna add my and on my nose too a little bit on my chin I think that is nice and I'm gonna add maybe a bit more after I do my highlighter added some powder under my contour my cheek products and I'm gonna leave it just a second I use the same powder as I used to set my face and I'm gonna highlight and then I'm gonna whisk this powder away I'm gonna use Berry M baked triplant highlighter in silver solstice I cut it this as a present from my friend and after I cut it like I think last week maybe or week before that I I've, I've used only this highlighter so firstly I'm gonna dip into this peachy shade with my highlighter brush and this is from Kix and it's the highlighter brush Kix is like a kind of like a Sephora but in Nordic countries so I'm gonna start my highlighting with this this is kind of like a peachy shade and I'm gonna apply it everywhere because I love highlighters on my snosh and a little bit on the bridge of my bridge of my snos snos and that is really blinding like on its own but I'm known for highlighting my highlighter trick with my friends and I do want to like add a bit of like a brighter one in in like the top of my right from the top of my cheek and now I'm gonna take the white one and I'm gonna tap it like twice because this is really blinding and ready for this this is like holy moly that is blinding like I can't believe this is drugstore like how is this drugstore highlight like if you can make this good of a highlighter like with under 10 euros then why do you need higher end like I do like my high-end highlighters but oh my god this is like this is just so pretty it's like it melts into my skin and it it just looks real pretty now I'm gonna whisk away my powder underneath here don't wanna leave it too long it just cleans up a bit if you go on too low Then I go back with my blush, take it a bit and just a bit like melt the highlighter into my blush. I'm gonna use some setting spray. This is the collection primed and ready dewy makeup fixing spray. And this one is real nice for the price that you pay I think that is under 10 like look how my eyelids have creased it's okay because I haven't set them yet and like blend that a bit I'm gonna use some eyelid primer now I have my like base makeup on and let's see 
this is just like the base that I like really glowy and dewy and nice and I forgot to highlight my cupid's bow so I'm gonna add a bit highlight that I'm gonna mix those two. But this is the like the base that I like to wear. If I'm not not like doing anything, like I just want to chuck on my base and do it real quickly. Quickly, these are the products that I know and trust that will work like real nice on my skin. So I think that like the finish of my skin is real nice. So now I'm gonna go film another video, I'm gonna do a palette pingo video on my eyes and then I'm gonna go come back and show you the finished makeup look. Okay, now I have my eye makeup on already and my base done and this is the finished look. Very glowy, very dewy, colorful eyes which I love and I will um, link the video for the eyes if it's up already I will link it down below if not it's coming soon so please leave me a comment and thumbs up and please subscribe and ring the bell and we'll see you on the next one bye